the many sounds of New York, the beautiful sounds of New York. What's going on, you beautiful humans? Matthew Noska here. I am in New York City, and today we are going to be visiting some of my favorite restaurants. First stop, Happy Bulls. Let's get it. Come on in. <laughs> Um, could I please have my regular? Mm -hmm. I'll do the beach, please. Okay. Can I do that with acai? And then can you add strawberries and the triple berry mix? And then at the end, can you just put a little bit of Nutella on top? Yeah. There we go. I like it. You see the method? <laughs> Enjoy your happy walk. Thank you so much. Oh, wait. Can't leave without the Nutella. Thank you. No, no. Oh. How do you like to enjoy your happy bowl? Alone. I've definitely eaten three acai bowls in a day. I can't say that that is healthy. I know that acai is super rich in antioxidants and like cancer fighting properties. I just really like it and it just happens to be healthy. But I think in the mornings for me, it's probably the best option just because it's not so heavy for like starting your day. Cheat days. I'm, I'm a big fan of French toast. I love pancakes. I don't really have those too often. Actually, n never really. You know, you gotta stay fit in this industry. I used to be like, oh, I have to stay in shape. I can't eat a lot of bread. I can't eat this, I can't eat that. But now I'm more on a health kick of like, what's good for me nutritionally. I've seen, you know, a lot of people lose their health um, pretty quickly because of, you know, the food in America. So I kind of try and stay health conscious about my meals that I'm going throughout the day. Every now and again, um, I see The Rock have a big cheat meal, and he's like eating this stack of pancakes that's bigger than my head. I mean, it's like a whole bag of bis, nis, bis, bis, bis quick? What is it? Bis quick? Bis quick. Product placement. You guys want to do that? What is the new thing that I just found out about? The ASMR? You just found out about that? I had no clue what it was. I was filming my press days for Let It Snow and they told me that I was gonna be doing an ASMR segment. No clue what it was. I looked it up on YouTube, and I was watching these videos, and it's pretty strange because, for me, I'm like uh, so aggravated by people who chew very loudly, and it's a big pet peeve of mine. So when I found out that I was gonna be doing that to people, I felt bad at first. I was like, no, there's no way I can't chew into a microphone and have people listen to it. But I guess they like it. So let's maybe I'll maybe I'll give a bite. It pains me to do this. It really does. I'm sorry to anyone who listens who has the same pet peeve as me. I just laughed and you can hear boogers in my nose. So gross. Okay guys, now that I've given you the lowdown on these delicious and healthy Happy Bowls, we're gonna go to a little more of an unhealthy spot and grab some pizza for lunch. So we are walking to my second favorite spot. It's called Joe's Pizza. Joe's Pizza is an iconic pizza restaurant from decades ago, but I knew it from Spider-Man. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna have a slice and see what you think. You know what I want to say? One of these days, hopefully this video will make it happen. See the wall over here? There's a lot of cool people in there. I gotta make the wall. One day. How's it going, boss? Could I please have two plain? It's the good stuff. Anybody gonna split these with me? Any takers? I don't know if you like Parmesan cheese, but I do, as you can see. First bite before it gets cold. Oh my gosh. So bomb. All right, so you guys asked me if this is the best pizza in New York. I think that's all relative. I personally love it. I think it's the, it's the most go-to pizza. Like in a New York minute, you're in, you're out, you got your, uh, your good slice and you're on the go. You want a bite? No? Mm. This is behind the scenes. This is the good stuff. Why he gets the beauty shots. Oh yeah. 
There we go. Make that, make that pizza look. That was a sexy shot. Okay guys, we've been back to back to back now. And our last but not least favorite spot, it's mine, not ours. Last but not least, we have my favorite restaurant in the city. I'm gonna regroup. I'm gonna regroup under here and I'm gonna come back. Okay guys, so we've been running around the city all day today checking out my favorite spots. The last but not least is Covina. They have some of the most incredible food. Let's go check it out. Oh hey, didn't see you there. Covina is a spot that I've been coming to ever since I like, pretty much first came to New York. Uh, a friend of mine um, named Luke introduced me to it. There's this spicy honey pizza and it's one of the best things I've ever had in my entire life. Like I've been to Italy and I've had pizza over there and it's incredible, but this place comes pretty close. I can't say enough good things, so let's get to the food. What's up, man? Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I usually know exactly what I'm gonna get every time I come here. The spicy honey is the number one. The truffle fries, number two. And then this kale and pear, uh, kale and pear salad is out of this world. I try to stay away from meat. It's difficult for sure. I don't eat red meat. I don't have steaks. I don't really eat burgers. Uh, chicken I still dabble in. I wanna go vegan. I will eventually, mark my words. It might not be today. Definitely not be today, but it will be soon. I'm gonna start with the kale and pear salad, and then I'll do the rigatoni, uh, no fennel, sure. and then the truffle fries. Can I have the truffle fries cooked uh, well, done? well done? Yeah. And then you know what? For the gang, let's let's throw in the spicy honey. Spicy honey? Yeah, that's the number one. A little bit well done on that as well. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, man. If you guys also want to know something about me, I'm probably the pickiest eater that you'll ever meet. I grew up with my mom's cooking, and if I didn't like something, she would just make me something else. She was the sweetest human being. But now, I've gotten a little better. I do eat tomatoes, which I hated for the longest time. Onions are an absolute no, but I like onion soup. It's weird, right? French onion soup, I like drink the broth, but I cannot eat an onion. Like a raw onion or like red onions, green onions, the little chives that they put on things, horrible. If you order a pizza and it has oregano or basil, I won't eat it because it's way too strong and overbearing. This is just for, you know, anyone that may cook for me sometime or take me on a date. Just kidding. Here we go, here we go. We'll start healthy. And just work our way out. I think it's really lighting it up yeah. for you. Maybe if you push it that way a little bit, Matt. Yeah, just there oh. we go. All right. Look at that, that glisten. Flare in there. That lens flare. Does it give you a flare? A little, no, not at all. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna say a quick prayer before my meal. All right. Now we're ready to dig in. So, I'm not usually a vegetable guy. I like salads that have fruit in them. It just, it's more like light and citrusy for me. But this, um, this kale and pear salad. My favorite. I don't know if you guys have ever had truffle fries before. The aroma that comes from them is out of this world. These are some of the best, if not the best truffle fries in the city. You guys want one? You want a Rigatoni with no fennel. Oh, wow. Okay, all of this needs to be shared because I can't eat all this and we don't waste food. Mmm, wow. This is delicious. We went through a lot of my favorite spots. Most of them are not ideal for staying in shape. Well, um, there's two ways you can look at this. You can work out and have a lot of cheat days, but you really have to work out. But I feel like if you find a very healthy balance between the two, 
you can do your most desired foods in moderation. And if you still wanna eat your foods, like your pastas and your pizzas and things, just do it in moderation. If you're gonna get a piece, just get one slice. Don't eat six or a whole pizza, which I've done. It's not fun. This one I didn't get for myself because I've already eaten so much today. This is for the crew. You guys are going to love it. I had this last night, so I'm pretty good on it. <laughs> Well guys, there you have it. My three favorite spots in New York. There's so many more. I'm gonna continue eating this. I wanna thank you for joining me today. And I really hope that you take my recommendations and try these spots out. See you later.